The next application of operation amplifier is a voltage regulator. Already the term must be very much familiar to you. You must you have studied this voltage regulator in your electronic circuit. Zener diode as a voltage regulator. So must be knowing what is a voltage regulator. Voltage regulator means it will regulate the output voltage. If the output voltage tries to change by means of if you are any variations in input voltage or if the output voltage the output load tries to change so in these two reasons your output voltage can change but if there is a voltage regulator it will be maintained constantly irrespective of the changes at the input voltage or output load so then center diode is a perfect regulator so that one already you have discussed in your electronic circuit and now here we are making the voltage regulator by use of an operation amplifier so two types of voltage regulators are there one is series voltage regulator and the other one is shunt voltage regulator so first we will discuss here the series voltage regulator so this is the basic schematic of a voltage regulator uh, the general block diagram it's so see here this is your output voltage this is the input voltage applying so in between that you have a control element sampling circuit compactor circuit reference voltage so when I taught you the uh, compactor circuit I told you what is a reference voltage what is a compactor circuit now here the series element here it controls the amount of input voltage how much input voltage should fit to the output voltage that is controlled by this control element so output voltage is actually sampled in this circuit and is given to the compactor circuit it is a feedback compactor circuit and it will compare it with a re reference voltage and the result will be passing through the control element now the basic idea behind the operation of a voltage regulator is if by any chance you want a fixed output voltage if by any chance your output voltage try to decrease so your output voltage decreased from the suppose you want 5 volt regulated output voltage suppose output voltage any of the reasons due to input voltage variation or load variation output voltage reduced since so you are getting around 4.5 volt you want perfect 5 volt at the output so in that case the compactor circuit provides a control signal to cause the series control element to increase the output voltage to increase the amount of output voltage to 5 volt so the when uh, the in uh, that 4.5 reduced output voltage is coming to the compactor circuit through the sampling circuit it will compare with the reference voltage and the output it is passing to the control element giving an instruction such as you have to increase the control voltage so increase the output voltage now suppose your output voltage is more than the you want fixed 5 volt it is more than 5 volt in that case also same thing will happen the compactor circuit will get send a control signal uh, send a signal to the control element to decrease the output voltage to maintain it's exactly at 5 volt this is a basic idea of a voltage regulator and the block schematic of a general voltage regulator is this now we will go to the first voltage regulator series voltage regulator using a transistor circuit here q1 is the series control element this is the control element just to compare it with the previous block diagram and v is that it is a center diode it 
provides the reference voltage to the comb reactor. So, Q1 is the control element and V is that provides the reference voltage. Now, see here how does it work. Now, just I am writing the KVL on this loop. This one is Vz plus or minus Vz. V is said it's not clear and this is the base and this is the emitter terminal it is an NPN transistor so this will be the base to emitter voltage VBE listen here this is a NPN so NPN so this is positive and this is the negative this is the negative And this is also negative. Okay, that I don't want, but still this one I want it. So now here I'm applying KVL on this slope. So I'm applying KVL in this slope. So this is plus or minus the output is I'm taking across here. Okay. So if I'm applying KVL minus to plus, plus V is that. Plus to minus, minus VB E plus to minus minus VO should be equal to 0 or it is V is at minus VVE should be equal to V out. Now see here is a regulator circuit. So any chances if your output voltage is decreased. So if VU is decreased Vz is fixed reference. It will not change. So, if this is decreased means what will change? Vbe will change. V, this value is decreased. So, Vbe should increase. It is minus Vbe. So, just understand this. Here, this equation. I will just rewrite here for your understanding. Vz minus Vbe should be equal to V. Oh. Now, for any chance your output voltage decreased. So, this decreased means VBE should increase. Because output voltage reduced, it means that VBE value should increase. Vz is a fixed value. So, VBE increase means Q1 will transistors base to emitter voltage. So, Q1 will conduct more thereby raising the output voltage. So, if conducts more means more input will be passed to the output. Now, next check is suppose your output voltage is increased. So, if output voltage is increased means this minus VB. So, that implies that your VB should decrease. VB decreased means transistor will conduct less. So, conduction of the transistor become less thereby reducing the output voltage. So, if less conducts means less input voltage will be passed to the output. So, maintaining output voltage is reduced so that it maintains the constant output voltage. So, by any chance if the output voltage decreases base to emitter voltage will increase the transistor. So, transistor conducts more, more input try to pass to the output, output will be increased again to maintain the constant output voltage. Similarly, by any chance if your output voltage increases, VBE will decrease, transistor will conduct less so that our less output will be input will be passed to the output output voltage will decrease again maintain the constant output voltage so that is the working of a series regulator circuit with a single transistor so here the limitations but there are some limitations are there here only one transistor you are using so, a small amplification only it will be provided by single transistor. Now, output voltage also cannot mean absolutely constant because both VB and VZ, VB and VZ, both are temperature decreases with the 
increase in room temperature value of vb will change with the temperature vz will change with the temperature also vb slightly increases with the load also so on these reasons we cannot see is a very good uh, regulator circuit so these are the limitations of a series voltage regulator circuit